Leslie's programming was going backwards and forwards down an ordinary telephone line. Now that's quite a thought because it opens up all sorts of possibilities. You may not think the average householder would have much need to access a database, but here's a database that everyone wants to access from time to time. It's a telephone directory. Now, in France, the post office wants to put the telephone directories for the whole country onto a computer and have a terminal in every home and office. Now, like the printed telephone directories, it'll be supplied free. Now, the first stage is already in use in parts of France, and we are, at this moment, connected to it. Now, we've dialed through and we've got a summary which gives you the facility. It's even got an English language version and a Spanish language version. Well, the English language one is number three. So let's press three and send and see what we get. Here we are. List of services. Let's go for the name first and see what choices they are for us. As with a lot of computers, you get a sort of multiple choice. Then you just have to press a number. Now, here we are, a little form to fill in. Name. We're going to look up the Monsieur Martin as an example. There we are, Marta is typed in, press next, and it's received it. If a person's doing when you get the first name, but only the name, but it wants to know the locality. It's asking you to put in the name of a place. So let's put in Ren. Suppose I don't know how to spell Ren. I shall just put R-E-N and send. And it even corrects my spelling. R-E-N-N-E-S is how it should be spelled. Now, there is at least 30 answers. <laughs> the French directory says, we don't want all 30 of them. Let's see if we can narrow it down a little bit. So let's put in an initial. His first name begins with S. So S and send. And up should come the directory. And there we are. There are three. S. Martin. Serge Martin, Simon. S. Martin. And so on. Now, in Germany, if you want to do your shopping or even pay all your bills instantly from home, Bildschirm text gives you that facility. If you know the telephone number, you can even reach it from here with an ordinary Prestel adapter, which is what we've done. Now, we've gone through the Bildschirm text network at this very moment, and now we're directly connected to the computer of a large German bank. And this is what an instant electronic bank statement looks like. Now, if we want to pay a bill, we just go to the appropriate page. there it is. We can fill in the details of who we want to send the money to, his bank code number, the postal code of the bank, and so on and so on. You can even fill in a little box here which says what the money is for. And here, of course, is the amount in Deutschmarks and Phoenix. But you don't have to be German. In a few months' time, a similar facility will be available from one of the big four British banks on Prestel. Well, for those of us who work in offices, and that, believe it or not, is about 40% of the working population, these new electronic systems could mean very, very big changes.